Intel is killing off the ARC A770. We got benchmarks for the 4060 and AMD. Appears to be doing some shady stuff. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Thursday, June 22nd, 2023, also known as... Wednesday? I didn't get that. Could you try? It's Thursday. Tuesday part two. Friday. Final Fantasy 16 launch day! Saturday. He's, I don't know what's going on with him, but if you wanna play Final Fantasy 16, if you come join us over on our Twitch stream tomorrow, we're gonna be giving away a PS5 with the copy of Final Fantasy 16 all bundled in. We'd love to have you there. We're also giving away the, I, the i9-13900K4090 PC tomorrow. It's, there's a lot. We're, we're giving away a lot tomorrow. It's a big day. It's a big day. PS5, you have to be there for the PS5, the 13900K. You'll have, I'll select the winner. You don't have to be there for that. But we're, we're having a big stream tomorrow. Come join us. Come watch us over on Twitch in case you want to do that. But in case you want to come watch the ARC A770 limited edition from Intel, you can't do that anymore. Reese, where, where did we put ours? Oh, it's in the basket. Should I get it? Can you grab it from the basket? So according to reports, as of June 20th, Intel has officially discontinued the ARC A770, saying that it's the last day that they're shipping it out to customers, which is the distributors, retailers, and other companies that tend to get these types of GPUs. They're at the end of life on the 16 gigabyte card, but specifically, it's the limited edition one that looks all pretty like. Look at this thing, it's gorgeous. This is my ARC A770 limited edition, which I actually picked up from Micro Center. They shipped it to me, can you believe that? They Microsoft. Yeah, they had this available for shipping, but in case you go over to their website, it is sold out. So it likely, if you did not pick up one of these things, you're not gonna get them because Intel's not making anymore, but they are called limited edition. So it made sense that they were gonna run out eventually. You have to buy a third party in case you wanna get the ARC A770 16 gigabyte. And in case you wanna submit a claim in eight clicks or less, you should check out today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. I was unfortunately recently in a car accident with a friend in the car. Thankfully, it was super minor with no injuries and my car was barely dinged, but as soon as we were hit, the thought flashed through my mind of how much of a hassle things were going to be if I was injured or my passenger was injured. And while I thankfully didn't have to use them, with Morgan & Morgan, submitting an injury claim is so easy. Morgan & Morgan has modernized the injury law process so you can submit a claim and have it reviewed by a lawyer without ever having to leave your couch. You can sign documents, upload pictures, share medical records and doctor's bills all from your phone. You can even text your attorney and case manager without having to go into an office. When you're injured in an accident, hiring an attorney is one of the first things that you should do. And with Morgan & Morgan, submitting a claim is so easy. More than 3 million people have trusted Morgan & Morgan when they were injured in a car accident. If you're ever in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less, and you can have America's largest injury law firm fighting for you. You can get started at forthepeople.com forward slash UFD or dial pound law that's pound 529 from your cell big thanks again to morgan and morgan for sponsoring today's video just like morgan and morgan can be fast turns out that the rtx 4060 and some leaked benchmarks also fast did you know this is releasing next week i did not did you know that i have plans to take you to a place to go get one of these is it magical it is magical it's the most magical place on my heart Right. Anyways, the 4060 is allegedly 20% faster than the RTX 3060. This is only in Geekbench 6 scores, comparing Vulkan as well as OpenCL scores. You can see the Vulkan score for the 3060 is around 86,000 points, whereas it's about 100,000 points for the 4060, which still puts it under that ARC A770. The OpenCL benchmarks 88,000 to the 105 on the RTX 4060, which again still puts it under the ARC A770. However, probably with better drivers, the, the 4060 might beat out the ARC A770 in gaming performance. This Thing's gonna launch for $2.99 next week. Let me know, is 20% better performance enough for you to consider upgrading to it over the 3060? There are a few things that are cut down about it, like the memory bus, like the PCI Express bandwidth. I think this thing should be costing a little bit cheaper, but let me know if you're more excited for the 4060 than you were for the 4060 Ti, 4070, or otherwise. Reese, do you think many people are gonna be lining up for the 4060? No. That's fair. Do you want to line up for the 4060? The number is bigger, so yes. Okay, but do you want to line up for UFD deals now? Yeah, sure. Woo! Hey Yo! friends, welcome back to UFD deals. He stole it from me. I have nothing left. 
You have the deals. Give it to them. We have the Rosewell CMG 850, 80 plus gold power supply. It's fully modular. It's going for $89.99 with the promo code BALKTA834. Making $110 off. That's not bad, but you know what is $130 off? The Sabrent one terabyte rocket Q4. NVMe SSD with big ol' heatsink going for only 90 buccarinos. And then last but not least, we have the, the biggest discount of all at $160 <laughs> off. The AMD Ryzen 5 5600X, which is still has a great spot in my heart. It's going for only $148.99. You should definitely check out these links or more at the link in the video description. You good? But until next time. Until next time, I'm gonna hand you off back to Brett. So the you get your hot news. Yeah. I'm really domineering, aren't I? I'll let you do this. No, because then you're gonna get out of practice and you're gonna get back to South Africa and then you're not gonna be able to do it anymore and then we're just not gonna have deals at all ever. Yeah. Oh boy, we're creating a weird situation, which is exactly what Amazon did when it came to Amazon Prime. So they're being sued by the FTC for their nefarious practices with getting people to sign up for Amazon Prime, saying that they use dark patterns to get customers to sign up and then made it difficult for them to cancel, specifically saying that Amazon knowingly deceived millions of customers into subscribing into Amazon Prime using dark patterns, specifically saying that the checkout process was complicated and convoluted and there were multiple options and you had no idea which one would just complete the purchase so you accidentally bought Amazon Prime in the midst of it and then on top of that it made it difficult to cancel with the FTC putting out the statement that Amazon tricked and trapped people into recurring subscriptions without their consent not only frustrating users but also costing them significant money these manipulative tactics harm consumers and law-abiding businesses alike but Amazon coming out with a retort saying nah -uh. the FTC's claims are false and on the fact in the law. The truth is that customers love Prime. By design, we make it clear and simple for customers to both sign up for or cancel their Prime membership. Additionally, adding that the FTC didn't contact Amazon regarding this, it has to remain to be seen how this plays out in a court of law. The FTC has successfully sued other companies regarding these dark practices, including Epic Games with its half a billion dollar payout with Fortnite V-Bucks and how it tricked people into buying those. Let me know in the, the comments have you been tricked into buying prime do you know anybody who's been tricked into buying prime i i signed up for prime 15 years ago at this Dang. point so okay. like i don't know how it is anymore they just have an annual recurring charge on my card remember recently i had that like prime start up again yes just randomly uh-huh yeah that's weird oh do you think they tricked you into it probably have you been dark patterned i've you whoa did it happen to reese <laughs> Oh my goodness, let me know what happened to you down below in the comments. And we're gonna find out, hopefully sometime soon, what's happening with video games, specifically when it comes to upscaling tech and whether or not there might be some sort of legal contract that AMD is getting game devs to sign so that they will not put DLSS on the games that they're bundling with their game bundles that they do. So this is coming out as a report from WCCF Tech investigating what's up with the missing DLSS support in AMD sponsored FSR titles where they yeah. investigated out of all of the DLSS sponsored games that Nvidia has sponsored over the years that they include with their graphics cards. Only one has not included FSR 2.0. That was Battlefield 2042 and that's because FSR 2.0 didn't exist at the time. But when you look at AMD sponsored Sponsored titles out of the 13 that have existed, only three have received DLSS since this has come out. Mm. It's a little tricky. Now, there are some explanations that you could look into for this. You can see the list of games between these. You can even see that a game like Halo Infinite, which was bundled with AMD cards, didn't include either FSR or DLSS. Same with World of Warcraft Shadowlands. However, the reason this is getting some more concern added to it is because both companies were reached out to for comment and AMD's comment was significantly more obscure and hand wavy than Nvidia's was. So we'll start off with Team Green who said Nvidia does not and will not block, restrict, discourage, or hinder developers from implementing competitor technologies in any way. We provide the support and tools for all game developers to easily integrate DLSS if they choose and even created Nvidia Streamline to make it easier for game developers to add competitive technologies to their games. This is coinciding with the fact that they have a DLSS 3 pl plugin for Unreal Engine 5.2. They are just making it super easy for game devs to put DLSS into their video games and according to them, explicitly not prohibiting the addition of Intel stuff or AMD stuff. Now, 
That was very clear, very deliberate. We do not. You ready for AMDs? Hit me. To clarify, there are community sites that track the implementation of upscaling technologies, and these sites indicate that there are a number of games that support only DLSS currently. So AMD is starting off by blaming NVIDIA. AMD FSR is an open source technology that supports a variety of GPU architectures, including consoles and competitive solutions. And we believe an open approach that is broadly supported on multiple hardware platforms is the best approach that benefits developers and gamers. AMD is committed to doing what is best for game developers and gamers, and give developers the flexibility to implement FSR into whichever games they choose. Hmm. Nothing about prohibiting DLSS, nothing. They talked about, they give developers the ability to implement FSR and that it's implemented on a wide variety of technologies without regarding what's going on with DLSS. And when they spoke directly about DLSS, they were like, look at, Look at all the things NVIDIA is doing. And specifically, this is about games that have been sponsored with AMD or NVIDIA. AMD has created a financial relationship where they are bundling this game with their products and they are somehow not putting DLSS on those titles. Now, again, a more generous understanding of this situation will be that DLSS is harder to implement except for it doesn't seem like it based on all of the moves NVIDIA has made to implement it. Uh, maybe game devs don't want to use non-open source things because AMD has done the good thing and made it open source. But when NVIDIA only has one title that doesn't support in AMD's latest tech and AMD has 10 titles that don't support NVIDIA's latest tech, something's afoot, something's a fishy. Is this on the game devs or is this on AMD? Is AMD becoming what Intel and NVIDIA were to them back in like the 2000s, where they were paying for things under the table, forcing this stuff to just, hey, don't use our competitor, use only us. Is that happening? There's no evidence of it as far as we can tell right now. There's just questions that are coming up. There is unclear communication, which has been AMD's MO as of late and NVIDIA being very explicit saying, how dare you suggest even that we do that? We don't do that, we do not. How dare you? Maybe maybe because they don't want to endure another lawsuit regarding all of that kind of stuff, but we'll have to see. Maybe there will be some uproar around this. Maybe nobody cares, but it's a, it's a conversation that's flowing out in the ether. Let me know what you think of all of that down below in the comments. And I'm gonna let you know that we're, we're done. The whole thing. The whole thing's over. Don't forget, we're giving away a PS5 and the Final Fantasy 16 bundle tomorrow, as well as the 13900K RTX 4090. How's that? We got AMD on the console and we got in Intel and NVIDIA. We don't discriminate against technologies here. It's the best of both worlds. Except for I'm not gonna give away a Nintendo Switch ever.